Hello everybody, Dead Spikes here, and today I'm gonna make a video talking about how to play Owl Buy in Gunfire Reborn. A lot of the footage I'm gonna be using in this video is from my live stream called Dead Spikes. Also, I do have a Discord where a lot of my friends and fans talk about Gunfire Reborn. So definitely make sure to join both of those. They're in the description of this video down below. All right, this guy right here is what this video is going to be talking about. The dual wielder is what I like to call him. He has two skills. He has dual wield, which lets him wield both the guns at the same time. Be able to shoot them at the same time. Then he has explosive grenade where he can just toss a grenade that does some decent amount of damage. Um, the way that you get I'll buy is if you go into your talents, you can check your level rewards. And at level 30 is when you unlock him right here. Alright, I'm going to be doing a point system on these three categories right here. Bossing, elites, and ad clear on how good I'll buy does. As you can see for bossing, he can just absolutely spread once you get the right build. Even without a right build, he does it quite good though. Um, he can just delete bosses even without ascension upgrades and scrolls just because he gets two guns and he can pump out a stupid amount of DPS. So I'm going to give Albi a 10 out of 10 in bossing. Now when it comes to elites, um, Albi can be good when he has a build running. I mean, he still deals a really good DPS to um, even without a build, as you can see, very early. I'm still dealing very good damage with him. But since there's a lot of ads around, it makes it quite dangerous for him because he doesn't have a whole lot of crowd control. It takes a lot of damage. But I mean, once you do have him set up to just nuke bosses, it'll make the elite extremely easy. But just because early game's kind of tough with him, um, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 for elite. And the last category we have is add clear right here. Um, unfortunately, this is where he does lack. He doesn't have a whole lot of crowd control and he doesn't have um, a whole lot of AoE damage. Such His grenades can do it somewhat early game, but um, his dual wield is not really that style of combat. As you can see against these horse heads, uh, Albi is just having a tough time. He's trying to make them we push their shield to the side and such to be able to hit him. So for ad clearing, I'm going to give Al by about a 5 out of 10, which is going to put his total scoring at 23 out of 30. So now we're going to kind of go over how to build Al by and how you should play in it. First off, I want to go over the talents you get. So your first talent, you get extra ammo. Your second, you get some extra health. Then you get a extra explosive damage, you get health regen while you are dual wielding, and then all damage increases by 50% while you are dual. Now we are going to go over the preferred guns. I have four preferred guns as I'll buy, but most guns work. There's a few guns that I'm going to note right now real quick that simply will not work with I'll buy. The talisman. And the golden bow simply will not work with dual wield and won't allow you to even turn it on if you're holding either of those weapons. Now the four weapons that I recommend as I'll buy are the illusion, the argus, the porcupine, and the crimson fire scale. Those four weapons are what I see does the most damage with him, but again a lot of these other weapons work great as well. As for scrolls, when you are trying to build Albi, the most important scrolls you want are health regen and some sort of ammo regen. Unfortunately, Albi doesn't really have any sustainability built in originally, other than that talent that gives him HP when he's in dual wield, which makes it so he does need some survivability. Um, I really recommend Flesh and Bones. It is a great perk. Um, combining that with some of the other ones, Amazing, and it can make a really crazy build also some ammo perks like bullet bank will definitely make it so he never runs out of ammo my favorite ammo perk is this one right here against the flow it'll make it so you never run out of ammo in your magazine pretty much as long as you have the right build rolling um but definitely pri 
Oratai's versus getting some scrolls that give some sort of health regen and some sort of ammo regen. Then you also need a lot of movement too. Something like advanced joggers just to get your dash back quicker. A little bit of extra movement speed is definitely going to go a long way. Now we're going to kind of go over movement speed a little bit as I'll buy. It is very important on how you move. Notice how I am constantly jumping around and I'm constantly dashing as soon as I get it ready just to try to get out of every single projectile I can so I can't get hit because he is a squishy guy since there's not a whole lot of survivability built inside him. The great damage dealer, but remember his fault is in his um, ad clearing. He doesn't do too well on ad clearing. They need to get down how to move as him. I'm always dodging out of the way of attacks. Always looking at enemies around me that are going to be hitting me. Constantly be moving though. Never be standing still. Always be moving around when you're playing Iobi. Trying to dodge everything you can. And you can stay in dual wield so that you can get that damage boost while you are going at it. And to wrap this video up, we're finally going to go over Ascensions. Um, these are all of Iobi's Ascensions. We have Red Tree which is gunfire, green tree, which is veteran, and yellow tree, which is detonation. For the most part, most of my points go into red and green tree. I don't almost ever use detonation tree. That's where you make a explosion style damage build, but I haven't had too much luck with explosion build yet, so I don't really recommend this at this point in time. Maybe I'll get into it a little bit more and recommend it more later. But if you do have to get a yellow perk, definitely try to get overloading because that stacks with those other ones on these trees. But the rest of them, I don't recommend getting. If you are forced, you want the one that gives you immunity to explosion damage right here, Mad Bomber. If you are forced, grab that one because it will make it so you can't get hurt from other enemies' explosions, which is nice. Otherwise, try to stay away from yellow tree. As for green tree and red tree... Um, one of my favorite perks is Sharpshooter right here. Definitely grab that if you ever see it. It's going to make it so you reload uh, two times faster. Also, another great one is Battle Tested right here. It'll make it so you have infinite dual wielding if you get the very last um, upgrade on it. But just itself, with a little bit extra duration right there, is going to go a long way while you are playing Alby. You'll notice it. You'll need that little extra amount of dual wield when you are going through a floor the next perk that i think is just ridiculously broken is lucky ammo if you get lucky ammo all the way upgraded every time you land a bullet it does not consume ammo so you can theoretically infinitely fire and it is quite crazy a perk i try to stay away from is twin gunner i don't find twin gunner too good it doubles your ammo consumption gives you 100 percent extra damage um, you could gamble and try to get the third level of it, but I do not recommend it. It's going to be a lot of pickles. Every run, I definitely make sure to grab Ammo Expert at least once if I see it. That's going to help me make sure I have that ammo. Even without Twin Gunner, you are going to find yourself running out of ammo here. Close Call is another great perk. If you get that maxed, every time you lose 10% HP, you're immune to damage for now these other perks are still great too. Adrenaline Rush, I'm always running that so I get that damage decrease for 40 seconds. Bane Fire is great. After you get a kill, you deal more damage for a little bit. That'll pretty much do it right there for this video. Again, if you have any more questions, definitely stop by my Twitch stream or stop by my Discord and feel free to just hit me up and ask me them. Otherwise, that'll do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it or you found it helpful, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out a lot. If you'd like to see some more helpful Gunfire Reborn tutorials like this one, make sure to smack that subscribe button. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Spikes out.